Dear students, so the children nowadays they face so many problems. Of them, we can see child labor and violence. So unnecessarily, the children are subjected to violence. So this one we see exploitation of the children, kidnapping the children and engaging them in the labor. All this we see. Now here one lesson about the exploitation of the child. That is the boy who asked for more the lesson. Let's know today. Before we read this uh, pre-reading task, one passage I read, just listen to. I ask you the questions later on the basis of the passage read. You try to answer them. Shall we shall I start? Okay, I shall start. A little poor girl, a little poor girl, a, li a poor little girl was walking along the lonely deserted road. She was wearing a worn out dress and her feet were bare. She had been asked by her father to sell boxes of matches and to bring home the money. The girl's packet was full of unsold boxes of matches. She did not want to go home because her father would beat her not for bringing back any money. Sadly, she lit one match after another. Suddenly, the figure of her grandmother who had died a year before appeared in front of her smiling happily as the last flaming match was beginning to die out her grandmother took her in her arms and carried her up to the heavens the next morning the possessed spy found the frozen girl lying in the snow with a pretty smile on her lips. Her burnt matches lay scattered all around her. Right students, once again I read for you for the second time. Reading for the second time. Listen carefully to it. A poor little girl was walking along the lonely deserted road. She was wearing a worn out dress and her feet were bare. She had been asked by her father to sell boxes of matches and to bring home the money. The girl's pocket was full of one sold boxes of matches. She did not want to go home because her father would beat her not for bringing back any money. Sadly, she lit one match after another. Suddenly, the figure of her grandmother who had died a year before appeared in front of her, smiling happily. As the last flaming match was beginning to die out, her grandmother took her in her arms and carried her up to the heavens. The next morning, the person's wife found the frozen girl lay, lying in the snow with a pretty smile on her lips. 
Her birth matches less character all around her. Did you understand, students? Now, what are the questions given here? Let's observe. Ah. Question number one. Where was the girl at the beginning of the story? The girl was walking along the road. The girl was walking along the road. Why did the girl not want to go home? The girl did not want to go home because her father would beat her not for bringing back any money. Any money. What did the grandmother do to the child? The grandmother took her in her arms and carried her up to the heavens. Right. The last question, but important question. What could the passerby see after the incident? The, the passerby saw after the incident the frozen girl lying in the snow with a pretty smile on her lips. Okay, students, after attending this, let's know the real story. The boy who asked for more. The boy who asked for more is written by Charles Dickens. The boy who asked for more. The boy who asked for more. Who is the author of the lesson? The boy who asked for more? Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Dear students, before we read the lesson, let's know about the author, Charles Dickens. His period is 1812. To 1872. 1812 to 1872. Right. Okay. He is the greatest Victorian novelist. The greatest Victorian novelist. Charles Dickens Victorian Novelist Right Charles Dickens 1812 to 1870 the greatest Victorian novelist is known for his attacks on social events like child labor and institutional cruelty. His attack on social events. Social events. Like child labor. Child labor and Another one, institutional, institutional cruelty. Right. Charles Dickens, he is always famous for his attacks on social events like child labor and Institutional cruelty. Right. Uh, what were his most popular works? His 
most popular works are David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities, and Great Expectations. Let me write in the board. His famous works are number one, David Copperfield. David Copperfield. Number two, a tale of two cities. A tale of two cities. And number three. Now, 
the story. The first paragraph. I read the first paragraph. Look at the book, all of you. Oliver was born in the poor house of a little country town. In the poor house of a little country town. On a cold black night. On a cold black night. In the winter of 1837, in the poor house of a little country town, on a cold black night, in the winter of 1837, the birth was attended by a doctor who was hastily called for the purpose. The birth was attended by a doctor who was hastily called for the purpose. And by an old copper man who was experienced in such matters. And by an old copper man who was experienced in such matters. Right, students. About the birth of Oliver. The first paragraph tells us about the birth of an orphan. Birth. Birth. An orphan. Who is an orphan? Olive. Right. Oliver was born. Where was Oliver born? When? At what situation? Right students, at what situation he was born? He was born in the poor house of a little country town. Where was he born? In the poor house of a little country town. Poor house. The house which shelter the poor children. Right. In the poor house of the little country town. The poor house of a little country town on a cold night, black night. Uh, in the winter of 1837, winter season, it was very cold season. You know, you have experienced how was winter season, right? Right, students. Poor house. It was a little country town. In the little country town, there was a poor house. In the poor house, he was born on the winter on night in the winter season, especially in the year 1837. 1837. Right. Who attended his birth? Two persons attended his birth. His birth was attended by the birth was attended by a doctor who was called for that purpose. Who was called for that purpose? That purpose, the purpose. What is the purpose here? Birth purpose. Right. And another one pauper man, old pauper man attended his birth. Right. Pauper means poor. Pauper means poor. Pauper. 
means food right uh, she was experienced in such matters right students we came to know about the birth of an orphan right when and where was he born who attended his birth let's go to the second paragraph the mother died almost as soon as the baby took his birth he took his first breath died the mother died almost as soon as the baby took his first breath she was a young good looking woman who had been found lying in the street who had been found lying in the street she was a young good looking woman who had been found lying in the street it was clear that she had walked some distance before she died it was clear that she had walked some distance before she died her shoes had been torn to pieces her shoes had been torn to pieces where she had come from where she had been going nobody knew where she had come from where she had been going nobody knew right what do you know about his mother his mother died as soon as almost as soon as the baby took his first breath ಮಗು ಮೊದಲನೇ ಉಸಿರು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದಕ್ಕೂ ಮುಂಚಿತವಾಗಿ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಮಗು ಉಸಿರು ಆಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿತು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರತ್ ಆಡಕ್ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ಉಸಿರನ್ನ ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸಿದರು ಹೀಸ್ ಮದರ್ ಡೈ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೂನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಬೇಬಿ ಟೋಕ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರತ್ point number 1 ili death of his mother bage namu maatnaata irathu death of his mother death of his mother bage namu maatnaata irappa right how was she she was a young good looking woman not like thumba chanagiddu who had been found lying in the street aake beedinalli bittidlo ಬೀದಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಸವ ವೇತನೆಯನ್ನ ಅನುಭವಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಹೊರಳಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದು ಬಿದ್ದಿದ್ಲು ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬಿನ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬಿನ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಬೀದಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿದ್ದಿದ್ದಂತಹ ಹಿಂಗಸು ಗುಡ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಉಮನ್ ಯಾಂಗ್ ಉಮನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದ what was clear that before she died before she died she had walked some distance one and two spasta avlu sayal munchitvagi so far distance nadididare she had walked some distance before she died in that she is wearing shoes her shoes had been torn her shoes had been torn to pieces 
ಅವಳ ಶೂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹರಿದೋಗಿದೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಚೀಸ್ ಪೂರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ that she is poor his mother was poor to say so what is the proof the proof is her shoes her shoes had been torn to pieces nobody knew to matters avlu enta bandidlo where she had come from where she had come from where she had been going he met her who with avlu ellinda bandidlo avlu elu hogta idare yaro ruku gottilla right students about her mother details so she died almost as soon as the baby took the first breath second thing, How was she? She was a young, good-looking woman who had been found lying in the bed, lying in the street. It was clear that what? She had walked some distance before she died and her shoes had been torn to pieces. and nobody knew where she had come from where she had been going right come on students now paragraph number 3 the baby cried loudly the baby cried loudly who cried loudly the baby cried loudly if he could have known that he was now an hour from a poor house if he could have known that he was now an hour from a poor house it is likely that he would have cried still louder still louder still louder right the baby cried loudly ben jora gartta idanante joragi jora gartta idane patta 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 if he could have known that he was now an hour from the purus yunige bhushaha nanu purus na orphan anta gottiddidre tilididdidre he would have cried still louder ಏ ನಾನೊಬ್ಬ ಪೂರ್ವಸ್ನ ಆರ್ಫನ್ ಕಣೆಯ ಅನ್ನಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿದ್ರೆ ಅವನಿನ್ನೂ ಜೋರಗಳನ್ನಂತೆ ಇಫ್ ಹಿ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋನ್ ದಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಇಫ್ ಹಿ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಹಿ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋನ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ನೌ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಫ್ ನೌ ಪೇ ಪೂರ್ ಹೌಸ್ it is likely that he would have cried still louder how the author described this situation and the fourth paragraph coming to fourth paragraph they called him oliver twist what was his name the naming of the orphan so fourth paragraph naming of the orphan orphan his name was oliver twist oliver twist right 
why was that name given why was only that name given a name and who gave this name who invented this name a name invented by mr pombal the town beadal the town beadal because he could not think of any other right okay students so i will continue in the next class so thank you one and all